it actually gives you HP on top of the priest buff. What? Like, yeah, insane. So, all, Battlefield Commander, insane. Absolutely insane. Well, hello, hello, peeps. Here I have for you a video with some uh, PTR tests on the Iron Warrior, just going over with some 10.2 specific changes. Um, really, um, there's not much to talk about. Unfortunately, the solo QBG seems to be turned off right now, so I'm not getting any cues for, like, I think over, yeah, almost two hours now, so... Unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait a little bit to get a solo QBG, but for now, I think we can just talk about some Arms Warrior specifics. Um, first of all, uh, some kind of build changes, I think, are, that are gonna happen. Um, Fatality, I think, is gonna kind of, um, I guess, come out of favor. Uh, I think um, uh, Executioner's Precision is just, you know, mega value now that you actually are getting so many more executes. Um, on the far, as far as um, Skull Splitter changes, I haven't tested them yet, but they are just gonna feel a lot better. Like, Skull Splitter is not gonna feel, um, how to say, cringe. Like, it felt really cringe to use compared uh, compared to, like, other, I, I guess, uh, cooldowns of its um, kind, right? It just didn't feel good, and I think we might actually be, like, you know, putting some points back into, like, this side, right? Going for, like, a build like this, or maybe even going for, like, a build like this. Currently, I, I, I'm just testing, like, um, what I'm already kind of using. Um, Warlord's Torment versus Blademaster's Torment. Um, again, I think um, this will be the kind of a cho choice thing. What I think is kind of metafied is that they basically... It's almost like they built around the, um, the tier set around this build that we are kind of using already. So, we are still going to use Blood and Thunder. Um... I think for purposes of PvP, this is just uh, absolutely a must. Shockwave plus uh, Endurance Training. Um, I don't think this will ever get, uh, how would you say, tuned out or whatever, right? It's, it's just we are always going to go down to here since the CC changes and basically making Shockwave a viable stun in PvP. Because before it was basically nothing, right? Um, and I think that's about it as far as talents. There's not like much that they're doing. I don't think they're doing anything with the... Uh, the actually, yeah. I almost forgot. Safeguard. So, Intervene now has two charges and reduces the allies' damage taken by 20% for 5 seconds. Now, the cooldown is increased, but this is, um, I don't know, insane to me. If you if you ask me, this is just insane. Like, uh, how much um, actual more utility you have, not, sorry, I should say, defensive utility that you have now to save your teammates is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you already had really good utility, but now you just have, with Safeguard, if, like, let's say you're playing with um, a mage or, I don't know, like, some other uh, range, or you're playing with the class, just gets destroyed, maybe, like, um, that Knight or something, it's gonna be extremely good. Um, Battlefield Commander, um, I don't know. Like, um, you know, you're not gonna use Berserking Shout, um, Intimidating Shout, 15 seconds. Does that really matter when, the uh, you know, the cooldown... Um, on the trinket is going down for healers, so like you're not gonna get uh, a window opportunity where you can fear the healer without them having a trinket, right? So I don't know um, about like how good that is going to be as far as that specific effect. Rallying Cry, I think it's pretty good, and Thunderous Roar, and I think we're already again playing Thunderous Roar, so I think this uh, Battlefield Commander is actually gonna be uh, just mega strong, like. I don't know if it's like better than Warbringer, but just overall how much di different things it gives you, it's actually insane. Because like all of a sudden you have a root, all of a sudden you have a buff for stamina. I don't know if this will like overlap with the priest buff. I actually have a priest buff right now. I think I actually got HP. Let let's see. It actually gives you HP on top of the priest buff. What? Like, yeah, insane. So, all, Battlefield Commander, insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, okay, okay, I changed my opinion. I thought, like, uh, at first I was like, yeah, like, the two effects of Berserking Shout and Intimidating Shout are not good. But just for the simple fact that all of a sudden you have, all your team has 3% more stamina, you can root, you can remove people from uh, roots, right? And increase the movement speed of people with your Rallying Cry. And you can, it has a, an actual DPS increase. Okay, this, yeah, this talent is just broken. Yeah, it, uh, it kind of sad it doesn't do anything for, like, um, you know, Spear Bastion, but, like, do you even care? Like, it, it, this increased by 15, yeah, so this is, like, a 30% uh, buff to this talent. 
Yeah, ARMS. ARMS is looking really strong with these changes. This also got a little bit of a change, right? It now snares and slows people, right? And reduces the cooldown of Bladestorm by 33%. And I think um, Bladestorm now um, baseline applies... Um, or actually, Bladestorm does not apply um, the MS effect anymore. I guess that's a little bit of a change. You, you can have unhinged, right? And have the MS effect ap applied through unhinged, but you don't apply MS effect with just Bladestorm, which is a little bit... Uh, how would you say? A little bit of a difference, right? It's not going to be the same. Uh, it's not going to feel the same, exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm still kind of shocked, like, because I at first I didn't realize... Um, I thought that the Battle Shout did not stack with the Priest buff. And I was like, okay, you get basically a root, uh, a three-minute, um, like, movement speed buff and um, remove you know, movement impairing effects, you know, and, like, a small damage buff. But no, 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 you get, you're getting all... Yeah, 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 okay, I changed my opinion about it. This is the most OP thing. It's not even the tier set. And we're gonna look at the tier set now. <coughs> uh, I don't have it on because I was doing some uh, tests. I do have a two set on. Let's see, what am I missing? Shoulders, I think legs. We're good as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how it looks, right? Fly random two targets. Let's see how much it's gonna proc. It's not rocking a lot more right now. The rock there. As you can see, it fires off um, a thunderclap, basically. For you, as you do... Also, sorry, I don't have my add-ons, so you don't see, like, all the, like, buffs and debuffs and whatnot. From the PTR, I haven't installed my add-ons. It's actually my first time playing on the PTR for World of Warcraft. Honestly, never had a need before. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, it's not proccing here. When I was playing a little bit before, it procced a lot more often. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I think arms is gonna be really strong. Um, I'm not getting a lot of procs here. I think that's just un unlucky right now, but I, I was getting uh, some um, some nasty procs and I was testing this a little bit before. But yeah, it's even more important that you like spend your um, Sudden Doom procs and basically just complete uh, priority on Sudden Doom always. Like, doesn't matter if you have two overpowers stacked up and more sharpened blade. Just want to fire that off right away so you get another execute as soon as possible. Let's see this. Let's see this burst. Uh, one thing first. Hmm. <laughs> Seven K. <bro. laughs> <laughs> okay, let's test out. Okay, I mean it's it's pretty much the same as before. So let's spin first. Huh, nice, nice, nice. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I would say it's pretty similar to how it feels right now. Well, peeps, that's about it. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, PTR testings and whatnot, and more just videos in general. Like, comment, subscribe, all those things that Yerbus wants you to do, and have a nice day!